There is a whole lot of them, and I'll be honest, um... Yeah. You got a little food on your nose there, bud. Live crabs, live eels we've seen here, live soft-shell turtles we've seen here. Oh my gosh, there's knife fish. Well, no, the clown knife fish. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Knife is running. Another chance at life, buddy. Oh, that's so oh, sick. He's, he's... Loading up our bin here. It's the only way we can get water. We're on the side of a road. Probably should not be parked here. Oh yeah, baby. What is going on, friends? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're doing a massive rescue mission. Ugh. We have to load up on water before we get to the place because they never want to put water in our bags with the live fish. So we're loading this big baby up here first. It's uh, my turn. Woo. You know, this looks like really good fishing. This would be some fire fishing for sure. Absolutely slay the fish. What do you think? Yeah. Watch for alligators. We are in South Florida. Got some hay too. We would load it up on food. Open that door. Show them. Yeah, there's uh, well, we, to say the least, we loaded up on food. Yeah, we got a lot of animal food. This is Food Town. It is a food market where they sell live things, um, and of course other things as well. But live crabs, live eels we've seen here, live soft shell turtles we've seen here. Um, whatever we see today, we're pretty much buying and rescuing. Although, this guy wants to cook it. Hey, hey. We're not going to cook them. No, 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 no. We're releasing them into my pond as a rescue mission. I'm not hating on people eating live fish or anything, but I'm saving them today. We brought this bucket we need to bring in because we do, we do there's no other way to keep inside. these fish alive. It, we have to sneak issue. this bucket inside. Because what they're going to try and do is they're going to give us a fish, but they're going to try and chop it up first. That's what they do at mine. They, we're not letting them chop it we're up. We're not going to let them chop them up because we need them alive, but they're going to put them in a bag with no water. So we're going to take the bag with no water, open it, and put them in there. And then this is our secondary bucket where the fish will then go out of the bucket into there. Whew. Ready, Food Town? It's PC versus Food Town. Here we go. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Just casually walk in with a bucket full of water. So sorry, man. Good day. Cut right. These are really all massive live blue crabs. So many. So they're actually like frozen to where they they're kind of numb. But people buy them and then they cook them. We should do a video where we take blue crabs out of here and release them back into the ocean. They're not an invasive species. We have these all over the place, but giving the blue crabs a second chance at life would be cool. Pretty crazy looking, right? This is where the eels used to be. They used to have eels here. Look at all that. Mackerel, flounder, look at the flounder. Crazy stuff, what? Don't be startled, they all look dead. But even worse news, look at this blue tub. Oh gosh, dude. Oh my god. Those are all frogs. So many different species. We have catfish. Oh my gosh, there's knife fish. Well, no, there's clown knife fish. That's a clown knife fish. Six live tilapia. Oh, we lost one. One's flopping on the ground, yep. That's a whole lot of fish right there. They're getting, they're getting spun up right now. Thank you. See, they give you they give you it with no water, so the plan is now, with six tilapia in this bag, to come around the corner. All right, open the bag up. Open the bag. Trying to get him to survive. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Yes. Okay. They're good. Stop, stop it, They're stop good. it, stop it, stop it. Shh, shh, shh. Okay, that all was right. genius of you. Genius. Keep all the water in. As if nothing ever happened. All six tilapia are in the five gallon bucket acquired. Look at that. Where's the tag? Brenton's running. He's running. As long as these fish have water going through their gills, we should be fine. Why'd you pick this aisle? Oh, all the other aisles had like five people in them. We gotta go. I know, but there's about 50 things on the counter. Let me look for a different aisle. You can keep the receipt, thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good one. 
Let's go. Let's go. You know, there's a total of like probably 10 in there, and we got six of the 10. We absolutely Because we didn't want to do two bags, or else it would have taken too long and they wouldn't have made it. We finessed, we finessed it. We really did. PC1, Fruit Town Zero. And now we're prepared at the truck with a massive 100 gallon tub. Oh, chill, chill. Martin, Martin. Martin. Oh, yeah, Martin, a second chance at life, buddy. And Abigail. <laughs> oh, oh. This is Peter. 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 Oh. oh, Peter, that was a tough fall there. Look at them, dude, they're thriving. Oh, Suzanne. Suzanne. Good old Suzanne, she's sick. Jamal, how you doing, Jamal? Okay. So great to see you guys all thriving. And Nathan. Nathan. All Nathan, right. he has a hook in his mouth. No. Did you see that? There's not a hook in there his mouth. There was a hook hole in his mouth. That's awesome. Guys, wake up. Wake up, we just saved you. Wake up, stop, stop. This isn't part of the plan. This is not part of the plan at Why are all. They all. One, there's not a lot of water in this bucket. Two, they're probably confused they're and stressed out. Three, we gotta get on the road. Yeah, we uh. Alright, we are at the farm. About to get ready to feed all the animals because we did just buy everyone food. But it looks like. Well, let me just show you. I think they're all alive besides that one. Number two. You look like the guy at the store that bagged them. I've been doing this for years, man. Number since, three. Since 89. Oh, you guys are getting another chance at life. Look at this beautiful pond you're about to live in. Look at that. To be honest, these tilapia are actually sick looking. Like, they're they like are. really bright. They're like this white color. Don't do that! He splashed you. And this is the one that is, uh... No, 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 no. He's okay. I don't think so, He's Brenton. okay. He's alright. We'll... Give him a second. He'll be all right. I don't think he's alive. But... Let's go. Where are you, Arowana? Arowana? Yeah, there's an Arowana in here. Yeah. See you later, buddy. <laughs> Another chance at life, buddy. Oh, that's so oh, sick. He's, he's living life. Look oh. at him. Into the depths. They're all lit up in here. Dark water, light fish. Look at you, go Oh my gosh, away. it's so sick, dude. Gets like taken by and a you, Haku, imagine. <laughs> but you know they're gonna be like super cool looking because they'll yeah. stay that light color. There you go. Dude, they're so awesome. off good. They are, look at them. Thriving. All right, this is Samantha. Samantha's the last one. All right, baby. You go be free now, okay? Adios, buddy. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, Samantha. <sighs> See you later. I say, that's a successful mission. Five fish that were going to be on a dinner plate are now living their life as a second life in a massive pond. That food market, I have done something similar to this before, except for this time we put them in a different pond. This pond is uh, where I constantly feed pellets, not only just for the ducks, which we're gonna see in just a second. Look at the size of this pond right here. Massive. And those sloppy will live happily ever after in it. You know, restock day. I've got it down to a science where when everything runs out, it all runs out at once, so then I have to do one trip again. But at the new place, I actually have, I'll have the big warehouse where I can keep bulk orders. So I'll order like a pallet full of this, pallet full of everything, and we don't have to go to the feed store as much. Now, if you're asking yourself, what do you mean new house? We got a new PC farm. If you didn't watch the video, you gotta go check that video out. I mean, come on. And if you don't wanna go watch the video, well, we're about to go there in just a little bit on this video, so. Yeah, just stay tuned. <laughs> Onto the ducks! Put some in this leftover bag here. We'll feed the pigs. <laughs> Woo! People wonder. Do you go to the gym, Paul? I just say no. No. No, I don't. This is what I do. Come on, goats. Look at these little guys, how big they're getting. Actually, actually. <laughs> oh, this is, this is nice. Oh. I like this. That's, that's unfortunate. Oh. Now you're done. Oh. This makes no sense. My pigs eat all the grass. How do your pigs not do that? It's just not fair. I have no grass. Thank gosh I don't live on a main road because the pigs have gotten out a lot of times in order for me to learn how to keep them in. Hence why the new property, everything is done learning from my mistakes. You get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Everything will be built like top notch. Um, by top notch, I mean just a whole lot of wood at the bottom of the fences because 
pigs like to get through anything. Or else we're gonna have to use pallets like this. Yeah. Which look, one of them broke it. I'm telling you. Trying to get through. These suckers are destructive, man. They're destructive. You got a little food on your nose there, bud. Yeah. All right. Well, Lady May and Mango is right there. He's gonna. Probably... Oh, son of a god, dude! He was right there. <laughs> He's getting a lot better. I won't lie. He's dude, really... Yeah, you can pet him, and he doesn't do anything anymore. This no, is nice. Look at that! Come on. Now. This is crazy. Mango, good boy, yeah, buddy. Little butt cheek scratch issues, huh? <laughs> there you go, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> There's Mama Duck. Hey, Mama. She's the reason that light is broken. It's raining food. Officially everything is fed here at the farm. Now let's head over to the new property where we got some projects going down right now. Already, like a weekend. Look at all these Calusas getting delivered. There we go. Dude, I just want to give a massive shout out to these guys. They dug each and every 250 separate holes that are about a foot and a half deep. Every single one by hand. That's impressive. And they go all the way down. They did the front too, this is so sick. Dude. That is a entire truck full of Calusia. Dude, it's gonna look so good. We're leaving this section open right here so we can get trucks in and out for digging the pond and building the building and all that stuff right now. But we'll keep a couple pots of these things to the side so that once those projects are done, we just dig a holes and put them right back in where the other ones would have been. These are big, dude. These things are huge. Well, it's the next day and all the Calusias are in their holes. There is a whole lot of them and I'll be honest, um, there's still a lot more that needs to be planted in the back. Although a lot of it is done. Even up front a little bit, there's some right there. These are going to get nice and tall and then create privacy for the animals and my, obviously myself as well. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to have at the farm. I also have another one at the other farm that we'll, we'll, we'll get both of them here eventually. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy and you wanna see maybe me go back and get those blue crabs and rescue like all those blue crabs, hit the like button. Again, over 50% of you are not subscribed, so subscribe down below if you haven't subscribed yet already. I love each and every one of you so much and I appreciate you so much for watching all the videos and I'll see you right back here with another banger. Not tomorrow, but the next day. Maybe. Yes, I think. Subscribe. Peace.